Oh, yeah, may Yahweh alone. So I just pulled over and wanted to deliver some of this straight dope that's been coming through while the channel is open. Lately, there's been an increase in clarity in the messages that I've been getting coming through from God, from Christ, uh, from the Lord, from my guardian angel, from my friends on the other side. And I hope that I can deliver this with as much clarity as it was just coming through. Because first of all, many people are waiting for Christ to return, right? The so-called second coming. Don't wait. This is not how it's coming. Initially, it must come in you, right? It must come in me. The return of Christ, the second coming, must come through us, for we are the body of Christ. This has already been said. But again, we wait and we fail to see. I'm speaking from my own perspective, first and foremost, because this is important. God is calling us to awaken. The world is, you know, in a cusp, we could say. Things appear to be at a tipping point, right? Could go either way. And if the forces that have been driving this cusp moment that we now find ourselves at continue, and we allow this to continue, we don't wake up and reconnect, join together the way we were intended. It appears that these forces will continue to make things worse. Again, pushing us over the edge. So, let's just sit with this idea for a moment that you are Christ. You are the Christ. Christ is in you. It is by the power of Christ that you exist. Think about this for a moment. Is it by your own power that you exist? Where do you get your power? Does it come from you? A so-called atheist might say, yes, I'm my, obviously it comes from me. I do my own thing, I make my own choices, I take actions in the world, I'm responsible for myself. These are all true to an extent, but where does that power originate? Well, you say, well, it's from the food that I eat or from my parents, you know, what they gave me in terms of my genetics. Okay, where did it get its power to give you that power? The denial that we all run on Christ's power, God's power, God's power, which he has delineated and set forth to organize this universe and give us this power, this freedom to experience, to choose, to follow, to lead. What do we follow and whom do we serve? It can get pretty confusing all these choices if we don't have a recognition and a connection and a practice to develop this feeling like we're a ship without a rudder grasping at various desires and drives in the hopes that we will live something like a good life. But this is a very uh, precarious way of being. Not grounded, not rooted, and certainly not directed towards a unifying whole to create something like a state of harmony with our fellow humans. I mean, fuck. We're all human. So 
So, a couple things that came through that I want to share for anyone who's still listening. Your screwed up ways of being, the anxiety, the resentment, the anger, the fear, the worry, all these states and all the thoughts that accompany them, the stories, the reasons. It's not your fault. It's the trauma you've undergone. Spiritual trauma, physical trauma, emotional trauma, mental trauma. Whether you inherited it, experienced it in this life as a child, perhaps in a previous life. But your trauma that's distorting everything, our trauma, which causes us to live in fear, to worry about shit, to wonder if we're good enough or if we're going to get the things that we think that we need in order to be happy, and then trying to cling to them or grasp at them or protect all that shit. It's not who you are. It's not based on actual reality, which is that what you are is perfectly safe and eternal. Can't be harmed and you're one with all. It's just fear that distorts everything. But when you let that fear go entirely and you trust, surrender, Well, there's no reason to fear. It drops away on its own. There's no reason to worry. There's no reason to become angry because you just see the truth that this person is confused. They're scared. They're defending, they're protecting, they're attacking out of fear, out of trying to control, out of trying to feel safe, out of trying to get what they think they need. What if all that were unnecessary? What if there were a way to connect to this truth and to begin to embody it to the point where it washed away all of those traumas and their subsequent stories and emotions that we carry? Well, all right, that's a beep. I guess that's where I end this. I could go on and on, but we'll keep it brief. (laughs) Thanks for giving me these eight minutes if you're still with me. Much love going out to you. I pray you are awakening the Christ within you and that we can fellowship more and help to heal the body of Christ. Amen.